What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is all ready yours guys happy friday welcome back to another video i hope everybody is having a blessed day today i hope you guys are feeling great i hope you woke up on the right side of the bed and going into the weekend family remember to keep on keeping on man you got to keep moving the needle forward all right you got to keep putting in the action because that is how god is going to show you and bring those blessings to you all right so and in this video we're going to go over seven signs that the blessing is being prepped and is headed your way, all right? So stay tuned, family. And if any of them resonate with you, man, let's talk about it in the comment section below, all right? Now, the first sign that God is preparing you for the blessing is when you lose everything. You begin to lose everything, family. If you remember from my journey video that I put out, my awakening journey, my story, okay? I talked a little bit about this in that video, all right? You guys will begin to lose everything. Like a lot of the things, the, the people, environments, right situations kind of stuff that you've that you've been holding on to right you can't god can't take you into the next season right on your narrow path that you're on while you're still holding on to things that can that no longer resonates with your spirit or with things that no longer resonate with the path that god is trying to take you all right so you're going to lose everything god said i got to take a lot of these things away from your life in order for me to prepare you for that blessing because if it's people over here that you're going to lose or if it's people that you're holding on to rather i can't bring them into the next season because they're going to mess that blessing up they're going to try to take it away from you and what i have for you is only for you so you guys are going to begin to lose everything out of your life okay you're going to begin you may lose friends uh relationships you're going to lose jobs there's going to be so many things that's just going to be deplete you're going to lose money right your bank account's going to be depleted you're going to lose so many things in your life in order to get filled back up. Remember, your cup has to be emptied first in order for God to fill it back up, family, okay? He's making room for the new to come into your life, okay? So that is a sign that God is preparing you for the blessings to rain down from heaven upon you, family, okay? Now, sign number two ties a little bit with sign number one a little bit, um, but it can be a little bit different, okay? And that sign is that doors will begin to close, right? So on your journey, through your awakening, right the path that you were on man a lot of you guys may be doing extremely well on that job you may be doing well you may even like it you may even like some of the people that <laughs> that you work with but the thing is is that it doesn't resonate with your purpose see too many people are chasing the money chasing the paper and not chasing their purpose and the thing is is that that door is going to close when you have gone through an awakening and you feel like you're content at that job you feel like you're at the right place maybe you're making the money that you want to make right but god said i got more for you i got way more for you i know that you are happy and grateful with what i have already given to you but i got more for you so when that door just <laughs> smack closes for no reason right it could be a relationship that ends for no reason well, obviously there's probably gonna be some some type of reason there, but there are relationships that just end. Maybe people just stop talking, right? They fall out of love, they fall out of interest, right? When the doors begin to close, smack in your face, all right, God's getting ready to prepare you for the next door. Remember, no man, no force can close the door that God has already opened for you, all right? So if Satan and his enemies and all these demonic people out here are trying to still kill and destroy you off of that narrow path, right? They can't close the door over here. They cannot close it. They may interfere with your mindset. They may have you looking at things in a different way. They may have you feeling discouraged, but that's what the enemy's job is because the door is already open. So when these doors over here close family, and when things begin to happen in your life, best believe that God is preparing y'all for the new blessing. And that is the door that is already opened over there and nothing can take that away from you. Okay. So that is sign number two, that God is preparing you for the blessing and it's raining down upon you family. All right, man, if any of these resonate with you guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. Okay. Now the third sign, excuse me, the third sign that God is getting ready to prepare you for something. This is a big one guys. And I felt this a lot. And that is, um, you, you feel like giving up, man. You, you completely just feel like giving up. Now, here's the thing. As God's chosen ones, right, there's going to be so many times where you feel like giving up because the enemy is always out to get you, 
always out to steal, kill, and destroy and to take you off of that path where God is leading you. All right, so right before you guys go to throw in the towel, man, I'm trying to tell you, this is how it works, family. This is how it works. Right before you go to throw in the towel, right? A lot of you are going to be like, man, Coach Kev, I can't do this no more, man. I'm, I'm mentally drained. I'm spiritually drained. I'm emotionally hurt, you know, from the narc. I'm going through all of these things. My bank account is being depleted. I can't take it anymore. I'm just going to throw in the towel, man. I feel like giving up. And the thing is, is that right before you decide to give up, there's going to be something that hits you that tells you, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. It's almost like your intuition is kicking in, man. That's God telling you, don't do it because you already know that on the other side of that adversity, on the other side of you wanting to give up is smack when the blessing is going to hit, man. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, I don't know why it works like this, but this is just how it works. It's like, it's scientific It's law, right? Right before, and you must persist until you succeed family. You must persist until you succeed. All right, so you're gonna get setbacks after setbacks after setbacks after setbacks after setbacks before the comeback. Remember, the comeback is God's blessing, right? So you're gonna feel like giving up because of all those setbacks. But right, there's gonna be that one point in time, man. There's gonna be that one time where it's like, where you're just like completely done. You're just like, man, I, I'm really done now, Coach Kev. Like, I'm done, I can't do it. But then you're gonna hear that small, that you're gonna hear that subtle voice, man, of God saying, don't do it. And guess what? Boom! The blessing has showed up. It has landed right in your lap simply because you decided to not throw in the towel. You decided to not give up. And family, this is how it works. So when you feel like giving up, best believe that God is preparing you for the blessing. And that's why you got to keep on keeping on. You got to keep moving the needle forward. All right? Do not stop. Do not quit. And don't give up. All right? Because I'm telling y'all, man, your greatest your, your greatest moments, your biggest, your biggest blessings, all of that stuff is right on the other side of that, of that roadblock where you said, man, I don't know if I can climb it. It looks a little too high. That roadblock is looking a little too high, Coach Kev. I don't, I don't know if I can climb that. But guess what? Then a rope was thrown, thrown right over for you to get right over that wall, man, because you decided to not quit. You decided to not throw in the towel, okay? So when you feel like giving up, that is a sign that God is about to bless you. And I'm not telling y'all to give up because in this community, we don't quit here. All right, we're gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna keep moving the needle forward. So when you feel like giving up, you need some encouragement, you reach out to me, all right? But not only that, just know that the blessing is coming. It's about to show up, okay? So that is sign number three, that God is about to bless you. You are being prepared, family. All right, so keep on keeping on. All right, now sign number four is that the spiritual attacks are going to increase. We just talked about this. We just talked about this in a video yesterday. The spiritual attacks will ramp up. They will pick up, and that is because the enemy wants you to feel discouraged. That's because the enemy wants you to throw in the towel. All right, you gotta remember, man, Satan is after your mindset, right? The enemy is after this up here. And if they can get up here, they can control you. He can control you. The people that you used to rock with, they can control you. Your family members, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins. If they're after you, they know that you are the chosen one. And if they get up here, they can control you. And guess what? They're going to do witchcraft on you, spell casting. The spiritual attacks will pick up. And that is because you're getting closer and closer to the light. You're getting closer and closer to the blessing. All right. Now, when God is about to uh, bless you guys, right, you're being prepped, you're being grinded up and, gr and, and, and broken down. All right. The spiritual attacks is part of the broken down phase. All right. Because you got to go through the pain. You got to go through the struggle. You got to go through the adversities. I'm not telling y'all to go around it this time, family. You got to go through it. You got to go through it. I'm going to say it again. You have to go through it. Because nobody can become successful without going through things, man. Success does not come easy, family. And that is why the world is operated and the world is ran the way that it is. Because everybody doesn't have what it takes to become successful. All right? So as the spiritual attacks pick up, and you know you're moving forward, man. We just talked about this. You know you're moving forward because you can see the stepstone of blessings, right? You can see the little things happening. Right. But now the enemy's trying to pop back up on your timeline to mess with you, to still kill and destroy, to steer you off course because he knows 
that the blessing is literally right there, man. It's literally right there. So when people are being nefarious to you, angry towards you, just being evil for no reason, your own kids, random people that you come across at the store, maybe you go to the bank teller, random people, man. I'm trying to tell y'all it's because something great is heading your way. All right. So you got to continue to smile through it and trust and believe that God's got your back, man, because the blessings is coming and you are being prepared for it. So through those spiritual attacks, through your spiritual awakening, best believe, best believe, man, it's coming. It's coming and everything is going to work in your favor, right? So keep on keeping on, family. Keep moving that needle forward. So that was sign number four that God is preparing you for the blessing, all right? Now, sign number five that you are being prepared and that you are just, uh, God is going to bless you is that you have no problem giving to the needy without hesitation, all right? And that means that you have a great heart. That means you are willing to give away what God has given to you and that you're not in the mindset of lack. When you are living in a, in a lack mentality and a lack mindset, guess what? You're gonna attract more things to lack into your life. But when you are living in a mindset of abundance, that you are prosperous, that giving away your last $5 in your pocket to somebody that really truly needs it, you best believe God's gonna return that back to you tenfold, family. All right, because now you are giving to the needy. You are giving to those that cannot really help themselves. All right, you can be given your last 20, your last $10 to somebody that truly needs it. Or maybe you take that money and you go into a restaurant or something. You go, you know, you buy them something to eat and you take it to them. Best believe that God's blessings is going to come back to you tenfold. You will be highly blessed because of that. God loves a giving heart, man. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, if you are a giving person, you're always willing to, you know, take the shirt off your back. Maybe you go in your trunk, get some shoes out and give it to the needy. Man, God loves a giving heart and you are being prepared for a major blessing to happen into your life. Okay. So continue to be good people. Now do not go give, don't give away stuff. Don't give away money in order and looking for a blessing. All right, that's an issue. God's not going to bless you like that. If you're just giving, if you're giving things away, you're like, okay, God, I did my due diligence. Now, where's mine at? You know, where, where, where's my blessing? Where's my gifts at? If you're looking for something, if you're looking for God to bless you, it's not going to happen like that, family. Okay, you got to have a giving heart and that you just want to give just because. Just because you have a giving heart. Just because you know that that person needs your help. Right? You see them struggling. You see they don't have anything to eat. They don't have shoes or socks on their feet. And you know you got plenty at your house and you're willing to give it just because not looking for anything in return, best believe it's going to come back to you 10, 20 fold, family. 10 to 20 fold, God is preparing you for that blessing. For the blessing. God is preparing you for it, okay? Um, that was sign number five that a blessing is coming your way and that God is getting ready to prepare you, all right? Now, sign number six that a blessing is coming your way, God is getting ready to prepare you, is that other people are encouraged by your testimony, family, by what you have been through, by your story, right? It's a sign for me right here because y'all, after you guys have heard my story, read my story, you guys have been encouraged to get back up and keep on going. You guys have been encouraged because maybe a lot of us have a, a similar situations, right? I know a lot of you guys have said down in the comment section on that video that you also lost your mother or your father in that year or maybe a year later or the year prior, right? And not only that, it's helped you step into your better days. But not only that, your story has encouraged other people to keep on moving, right? It's not by coincidence, family, that you come by the channel and you're like, man, I didn't want to get out of the bed today, but your story, Co Coach Kev, the story that you dropped, the knowledge or the wisdom that you have given to me, that you have explained, was able to help me keep on moving. And that's what it's all about. I'm, I'm grateful to be able to help you all, right? So being encouraged through my story, through my trials and tribulations, is something that is amazing, man. It's absolutely beautiful to see that because knowing what I went through, the pain and suffering and everything like that, and that it's gonna help you guys get through yours and be able to see the trials and tribulations that you're dealing with, with some of the similar situations and stories that we have all gone through together, right? Wow. All I got to say is, wow, man, because we're on the same vibration. You know, we're, we're here together. We're in this together. We're moving forward together. So as you all drop your testimonies and as you all are dropping your stories in the comment section and other people are reading it and they're like, man, this is amazing. Now I want to get up and do that. Now I got to keep on moving the needle forward. Your story inspired me. 
best believe God is preparing you for a blessing to come because you are, it's a testimony, right? You are sharing what God did for you. You are sharing how you was able to make it out of that, the pits of hell, man, right? It seemed like nothing was going to work in your favor. It seems like everybody was against you. Every situation, every person was against you. And maybe even some of that time was super embarrassing. Maybe you had some embarrassing stories, but God pulled you out of it. And now you're actually sharing that story with the world. And you're not worried about being embarrassed. Now you're just worried about getting the story out so that people are able to move through their own trials and tribulations, through their own embarrassments, through their own stories. You were the one to share it. God is going to bless you for that because not only are you sharing your story, you're being another giving person. You're, you're giving your story to the world. You have a giving heart and God is going to bless y'all for that family. Okay. So that is sign number uh, six. Was it six? Yeah. Sign number six, right? Is that others are encouraged through your own testimony. All right. Now sign number seven family, the last sign that I'm going to drop for you all today that God is getting ready to pre prepare you for a blessing is that um, you will receive an overflow in resources. Okay. So when you guys going through your awakening, all right, going back to that first sign, you're losing everything, right? You're losing people. You're losing uh, the job. You're losing a lot of things in your life because God is trying to, is going to fill you back up. He's making room for more. Okay. And as he's making room for more, as you can see how this ties together, family, that means people are going to be sent to you, right? Being the new job is going to be sent to you right? Certain people is going to be sent to you that is that you that is needed right now on your path, right? Maybe you're starting a business. You're not sure where to start. You're not sure where to go. You're not sure, but somebody has been sent to you by God to help you move forward. You have an overflow of resources, right? An overflow of resources. Maybe you was get like, you have a getting right. You're giving away money to the needy or you giving food to the needy, somebody that's in need. And guess what? It's coming back to you. You have an overflow of resources, all right? God is blessing you guys because you are blessing others. And because you're doing that, you have nothing to worry about. You think the birds out here and, and the animals, the deers and stuff running in the woods, you think they have anything to worry about? Food and water and stuff like that? God is always gonna look after you guys, always gonna bless you, all right? So when you see the, the blessings being prepared and when you first see that everything's been taken away from you, now you're seeing people are showing up, right? A lot of you for the life coaching, right? That has found somebody to talk to, to communicate an overflow of resources showing up in your life to help you move forward on your path. All right. Now these are signs family that God is about to bless you. You are being prepared and the windows of heavens are being opened up right now. It's about to rain down upon you. All right. And a lot of these signs are from my own experiences, my own experiences, things that I have gone through. And I know for a fact, family, I know it. I can see it. I can feel it. That if you guys are going through these things, that this is stuff that you need to look out for. Because on the other side of these signs that I just mentioned for you guys, the blessings is going to show up. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to show up the very next day or anything like that. Okay, you got to remember to keep going forward. You got to keep moving the needle forward. And you got to keep on keeping on, man. Keep on keeping on, family. All right, because these seven signs, the blessings are going to show up. They're going to show up no matter what. All right. But as long as you have faith, man, I don't want to say no matter what, because if you don't have faith or if you don't believe, then it's not going to happen for you. All right. But through your struggles, through your pain and suffering and trials and tribulations and everything that the enemy is throwing at you, if you have no faith, guess what? You're never going to get there. God can't deliver you on your new path. Right. And, and bring you to a new place in your life. If you don't trust where he's taking you, if you don't trust the process, you got to trust the process. Remember, Faith is, is believing the things that you cannot see. Remember that thick fog, family? You can't see where you're going, but you know the signs. You now know the signs and what's going to happen, all right? So use them to the best of your ability. Pay attention to them as they show up on your journey, all right? And then you will know when the blessings is about to show up in your life, but you got to keep the faith, man. You got to keep the faith and do not throw the towel in, all right? So family, that is seven signs that God is preparing you for a major blessing to happen into your life. If any of those signs did resonate with you guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you to life. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend, family. Remember, work on yourselves, man. Work on your business. Excuse me. Work on whatever it is that you are trying to co-create in your life. You are the co-creator of your life. All right? So do not let the enemy steal, kill, and destroy and steer you off of that narrow path, man. Y'all stay the course. Stay the course. Keep on keeping on and believe that everything is going to happen in your favor, all right? 
All right, guys, I love y'all to life. I will see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.